Hello everyone, I am Nitij and today we are going to build an interactive quiz application using React for the front end, Node.js for the back end and we will integrate our back end with OpenAI's AI model API to generate the quiz questions. So first let me show you what the final project is going to look like. So there will be a button with the text start quiz when we will click on it then the quiz will start based on the questions which have already been fetched when the component is going to be loaded. Now there will be five questions that we will be having and each question is going to have four options. There will be button for each option and a user can then click on the option that they may think is the correct answer. So for example if I will select all the answers for the five questions then in the end there will be messages which will imply that the quiz has been finished and the current score will be displayed and then the user will have the option to restart the quiz with the same set of questions. Now if you want to reload this quiz with a different set of questions then the page will need to be reloaded and a message will print which will say loading questions. So this is what we will be building with React Frontend Node.js backend and open AIs. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So this is Visual Studio Code and we will have to build both the backend and the frontend. And for that, I will create two folders. The first one is going to be for our server. The second one is going to be for our client. Now in the client folder, we will initialize a new React app. So for that, I will simply first CD into the client folder and then I will execute npx create react app and then the name of the app which is going to be react node quiz press enter now while the react app is getting set up in a separate terminal window we can start to build our server so for that I will first simply cd into this server folder and use npm init to initialize a new node application use all the default values when that is done then i will create a new file in the server folder with the name server.js now for our server we are going to need a bunch of dependencies so first let's install those packages so npm and then install express and then course and then open ai so express is for our backend application course is for cross origin resource sharing whitelisting of the localhost port on which the react app will be running and openai is to use the openai's package to communicate with the ai models now in our server.js we will start by first importing the packages let's first import express then let's import course and then let's also import the openai package now start with initializing our express app so const app equals to express and let's also define the port number on which our server is going to be running which is going to be 5000 let me just close this terminal now we are going to use the course package to add a middleware implementation to whitelist and origin for localhost 3000 and as i said earlier this is going to be the one where our react app will be running so we will be creating an endpoint in our node backend which is going to be called by the react frontend to fetch the list of five random quiz questions now to build the endpoint we need to write app.get and then the url of the endpoint which is going to be api and then questions so the name of the endpoint is this one and then we have to provide the callback function which is going to be this async function with request and response arguments. Now let's outline the stuff that we will be doing over here. We will be calling the openAI API to fetch the questions and then return the questions json now let's elaborate on each of these steps to call the openai's api first we will need an api key then we will need to know which ai model we will be using and then 
for further low level details we will need the messages array for our payload now openai is going to return its output in a string so we will have to parse the string into pass the string into valid json and then we will have to return the json now before we start to implement our endpoints code let's first take a look at the openai's website so if you don't have an account on openai's api dashboard then you will have to create one so to do that you will simply have to open openai.com and then click on this login link so there will be two options you will have to click on api and then create an account if you don't already have one now i have already described this process in a separate video and i will share the link of that video in the description but in short when you will log in into the dashboard then first you will have to create an api key to be able to call the openai apis and then in the playground you will have to check which model you want to use now i will be using the gpt4 turbo because it gives us option to force the ai model to output its response in json format and while we are in the playground let's also test the prompt that we will be using so the prompt for the system is going to be you are a quiz master and generate five random questions with four multiple choice answers also provide the answer separately the response should be in the following json format now over here i don't see any option to set the argument for the json format but i think when i will press the submit button then it will honor this format that we have provided and see this is how it is outputting all the questions so it has stopped generating because the maximum length of tokens that it can generate is 256 but i think because it has came up to this point i think our prompt is going to work and this is what we will be using in our node.js backend code while calling the open ai's api now let's get back to our node backend so first we need to get the api key for that i will create a constant const open ai api key now the api key i'm just going to copy from the dashboard and paste it over here the next thing that we need to do is we need to initialize the open ai's instance which we are going to use to call the api so new open ai and then we need to provide an options object with the property api key with the value of this constant next we need the ai model that we'll be using so const ai model is going to be the gpt4 turbo model so let's do that and then the messages array so const messages equals to role is going to be system which i just showed you because we will be using the system role and this needs to be enclosed into another object not inside the array and then for the content we need to provide our system prompt so i'm just going to use the same prompt which i just showed you but for it to work i'm just going to convert the double quotes into a single quote and then paste it so after we have initialized the messages all we need to do is to call the chat completions function so to do that we can just call completion equals to await open ai dot chat dot completions dot create and for this create function we can provide the payload so for payload the first property that we will be using is the model which is the ai model the next one is the response format which is important because we are going to force the ai model to output its response in the json format for that we will just provide an object with the property type which is going to have the value json underscore object and the third one is the messages array now when this request will be completed then we will get the ai response so const ai response equals to completion dot choices arrays first item dot message dot content and you can check out the documentation what is the structure of the response now to parse a string into valid json the string is going to be this one now to parse it into valid json i will just create another constant with the name json and to parse it we will use json dot parse and then we will provide the ai response as an argument to it 
and then finally to return the questions json we will simply call response.json and then this json constant right finally we need this app to listen on the port that we have specified which is port 5000 so let's do that um, let's add a message as well so console dot log so server running on port 5000 you can tokenize this string as well but there is no need because the port is not going to be changed so now let's open up the terminal first check if the react app is installed or not it has installed so i'm just going to first cd into it now let's get back to our node backend terminal and let's run node server.js now what i will do is i will first test it and for that let's open up a new tab and then let's type the local host and then 5000 api and then questions it says cannot get api questions so let's check what is the name of the endpoint that we have used over here i need to add a forward slash as well in the beginning let's do that save it and then run node server.js again now let's test the url this time it seems like our node backend is successfully fetching the list of random questions from openai's api now when our backend is sorted we can move on to our front end let's close this terminal and this file as well now in the front end we are going to make our changes in app.js file so the first thing that i will do is to delete all of this stuff from over here which we don't need remove the logo as well because we don't need it now i'm going to import some packages over here that we are going to need the first one is going to be use state because we will need a bunch of state variables we will also need use effect because we need the effect hook from react now in app we will need a bunch of state variables the first one that we will need is the questions variable where we will store the questions that we will get from the response after calling the backend api the initial value is going to be an empty array because it's a list and we will also need the current questions index so that we will know which question we need to display to the user and that will be based on an index value so if it's the zeroth index then we need to display the first question if it's the second index then we need to display the third question and so on let's also have a state variable for the score now we need to maintain the score for each question which is answered correctly now we are going to need two more state variables which will indicate quiz started and quiz finished so when the quiz is not started then we need to display a different ui but then when it is finished then we need to display a separate ui which will simply show the message that the quiz has been finished and finally let's also add a last state variable to indicate if the questions are currently being loaded or not now the default value for the loading is set to be true because the questions will be loaded when the page will load the default value for quiz started and finished is false the default score is also zero now the first thing that we will do is to use the effect hook to call the node backend api which we just created so let's do that use effect and the callback function we need to use an empty dependency array because we need this code to run only once when the component loads and we will be using the fetch api to call our backend node endpoint so fetch and then localhost you know what let's use http as well so http and then localhost port 5000 api and then questions we will get a promise so dot then <coughs> and let's return response dot json hold on response dot json and then we will get another promise this time we will get the data so for data we will set the state variables for the questions and for loading as well so set questions and 
for questions we are going to get the list of questions from our um, json's questions property set loading to false now let's also work on the promise error as well so catch now if there is any error then we can simply um, log it so we can log the error but then we also have to again set the loading value to false now it's time to work on the html or the jsx that we are going to return for our quiz application now before we start to write any html code or jsx code we first need to conceptualize what exactly we will be doing so if it's loading then show the loading message if quiz not started then show start quiz button similarly if quiz is if quiz is started then show the questions one by one and if hold on just bear with me if quiz has ended or if quiz has finished then show users score all right now in our return statement we will first check if it's loading or not if it's loading then we will simply show a message that the questions are loading so loading questions otherwise we will check if the quiz is not actually not finished if quiz is not started or quiz is finished then we have to show a common button but the buttons label is going to vary based upon the value of if the quiz has finished or not so for that let's add the button so button its value is going to be if quiz hold on if quiz is finished then we will show the text restart quiz otherwise we will show the text start quiz now let's add the click event handler for this button so on click equals to an empty function which is going to call another function with the name start quiz so let me scroll up so that you guys can see it so const start quiz equals to an arrow function the first thing that we will do over here is we will set the quiz started to true and we will set quiz finished to false and then we will also set the default values for current index and also for a score as well because we need to reset everything when the quiz is going to be start again so set a score to zero now i'm just going to call the start quiz from this buttons click event we will also need to style all this html but we will do that later using tailwind css so now after we are done adding the common button but with dynamic label it's time to check if the quiz is finished or not if the quiz is finished then we will simply display the message that the quiz has finished so for that i'm just going to add a div container first and inside this div the first thing that i will do is to add a paragraph with the value quiz finished and i'm not really sure why this intellisense is not working let me check first so quiz finished and this is going to come over here you know what let's keep going with our code and we are going to figure out the valid jsx later so let's do that now another paragraph we can add which is going to display the score so your score is going to be the current score and then we can also display the total questions so questions dot length and this will also need to be an expression so a score and then expression of question dot length and similar to this i will add another paragraph with a message uh, hold on 
you got a score or the you know what the score is out of questions dot length questions right like I showed you in the demo okay when this is done then the only thing which is left is to display all the um, options of the questions one by one and also to implement the option buttons click event so let's do that now the reason I think we are seeing an error over here is that we need to use a fragment over here because these two items don't have any container so let's do that and format this first printer is not working I think because of the incomplete expression so now when the quiz has started then we need to write the else part so for the else part hold on we can first return a div now this div is going to be the container where we are going to display the question text and the options so the first thing that I will do is to render an h2 tag with the value of the question so this can be done by simply using the current index to fetch the value of the question or the question text so current question index dot question and after this one we can simply create another div container for the options so just hold on let me just copy from over here so question dot current question index dot options dot map now in this map we need to provide the argument for option and for also its index to be able to provide the key otherwise react will complain about it so let's do that over here for each option we are going to return a clickable button okay so this intelligence it takes too much space and it makes it really hard to see what we are typing but in any case let's write the option over here and then for key I'm going to provide the index key equals to index and then we also need the click event so on click equals to now let's implement the click event handler for our option so for that I will create a function with the name const handle answer equals to an arrow function but this time we need an argument for the answer which the user has selected so we will simply need the option value so option and here we will check if option is equal to current questions answer then we will simply set scores value by incrementing it by one next we need to increment the current question index as well so if it has not reached the last question then we can simply increment the current question index otherwise we can set the quiz finished to true so let's do that so if option is equals to let me just copy from over here if options is equal to current questions answer property value then we are going to set the score so set a score and then score plus one in the next if statement we will check if the current question index is less than questions dot length I mean the total question minus one then we will set the current question index with an increased value which will increase by one else if it's not the case then we will simply set quiz finished value to true next we need to call the handle answer whenever any option is clicked and for that we can do that by providing the option value as an argument now the one last thing which is remaining over here is to style all of this html that we are returning and to do that i am going to use tailwind but i'm going to skip that part because that is just normal boilerplate setup and applying all the classes so after this brief pause i have installed tailwind along with applying all the tailwind classes to our html now it's time to run our react application on port 3000 and see if it's working or not so for that i'm just going to call npm start so there is an error saying question is not defined let's see what it's all about so okay i think there's a typo over here questions but i think it's on two more places so it's on 78 and 81 so all right question and questions let's save it now let's check again now it says start quiz let's click on it 
now we don't have the question text and that is because i have used questions over here so it's like interchanging the property names let's save it again and now test again so now we can see the options what is the largest planet in our solar system let me just answer randomly and see if we are getting the results now it says your score is 3 by 5 you got 3 out of 5 questions right and restart quiz button is there let's click on it and the quiz has been restarted so this is how you can implement a quiz application using the react front end node back end and by using the open ai's ai model api and that's a wrap guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring if you did please consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this your support means a lot and helps me continue to bring valuable content to you thanks for watching and happy coding